hundreds of buttons, hours upon hours of sewing and dedication, this beautiful button blanket carries a huge amount of cultural significance, but it's also giant in size. I was honored to be able to be part of this project. It's an honor to get to meet all of the students that are part of the creation of that monumental blanket. It's incredible. The blanket is six meters by six meters and weighs somewhere between 250 and 300 pounds. Peter is a Chaltai Nation artist and so our, our major blanket as well as these smaller blankets are Chaltai in style. The button blanket is part of the ceremonial regalia worn in some First Nations communities. It is used and worn differently in different territories. There's the raven's tail blanket, there's the chill cap blanket, and then there's the button blanket. Um, and then they also have one that's called the Hudson's Bay blanket, which they kind of formed into different kinds of blankets. So those are kind of the main four blankets. Um, but within each diverse nation, they have different ways. The project began with just Carolyn Butler Palmer and Peter Morin in a coffee shop. But over two years, it grew to include the University of Victoria's First People's House and the Faculty of Fine Art. First People's House provided us with the space uh, where we got together with a class, an undergraduate class in art history uh, twice a week through the fall semester. Over the course of that semester, we also had six button blanket makers come to class and talk about their own practice of button blanket making. And we wanted to have a Coast Salish artist incorporated into this project because we're on Coast Salish territories and we wanted to honor that. His design actually represents the sacred headwaters, the salmon bearing rivers. And along each side, we have salmon uh, swimming home. We have salmon motifs swimming home, as well as salmon eggs. Uh, so they're just returning back to their origin, to the salmon bearing river. Different colors, different shapes, different sizes. All the buttons on these blankets are different because they were donated by the members of our community. That sort of variation of buttons is supposed to be indicative of like every student at UVic is different, comes from a different community. Um, you know, every, we're all buttons and we're all different buttons in that UVic box. Yeah. In the Gitsen tradition, you receive a baby blanket and a baby name. And as you grow, you get an adolescent blanket and name until you're an adult. So your name and your blanket um, grow with you. The exhibit also includes smaller blankets made by the students in the Taltan style, and it features signature pieces by the blanket makers who helped with the project. Lonnie is a three-dimensional textile artist, and she has been creating First Nations clothing that can be worn outside of the feast hall. Sometimes when you're away from home, you need something that connects you to your culture. And I'm not going to go around wearing my button blanket, so I've come up with another way to do that. Yeah. And so it's a way to know who I am, but where I'm from. I'm a, a killer whale crest, so my, my piece back here has killer whales on it, and so that represents um, the family. And our goal really was to call attention to the importance of this art form that's been overlooked for a long time. With such a giant blanket, who's going to wear it? Who's going to wear it? Yeah, well, the building is wearing it. From the Legacy Art Gallery in downtown Victoria, I'm Meg Cuthbert.